guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the first crossover trailer for the Armageddon event, which is the first five episodes of The Flash Season 8. Obviously this is coming out in November, November 16th, so get ready for that. Obviously it's going to be five weeks straight of crossover episodes on The Flash on Tuesday and obviously we're going to be covering every single episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this trailer. So they just released a trailer earlier today, which is very exciting. Obviously they had DC fandom over the weekend. Most people kind of presumed and I think they actually teased that there would be a Flash trailer at DC Fandom, but it turned out it wasn't the case. They released a new poster, which you'll see on the screen right here. It looks great with Barry in the gold boots. However, they didn't actually release any trailer, and obviously this was a little bit of a disappointment for quite a few people. However, we did suspect that it would be coming out sometime this week due to the Flash being just under like a month away from now because it's the 19th of October and like I said it's coming out on the 16th of November so still under a month as of right now so we're getting very very close and I can't wait for it to come back. So the first shot of the trailer is of Barry and he is in perhaps what looks like the Hall of Justice and there is something burning I don't know what specifically it is however maybe it's something of significance I would presume maybe it's some sort of old costume maybe it's the other League members who aren't a part of the Arrowverse anymore. And so the next shot is the first shot of Despero in his human form. So I don't think they've actually got the CGI ready for his big kind of alien monster form. We know that's going to be like a bigger version of himself and obviously he's not going to look like how the actor looks like in real life. But this is his kind of human form that you will see like Barry interact with. And he's not going to always go into this massive version of himself, but he will become full Despero, say, when he is fighting Team Flash and the rest of the Justice League. So, yeah, this is a shot of him on the street. You can see some sort of chaos going around. So he's been destroying cars, and obviously maybe he just, like, landed on a bunch of cars and stormed his way through to Barry. As you can see in the next shot, they're on the same street and Barry opposes him. So in the voiceover, Barry says, My name is Barry Allen and I'm about to do something impossible. Now, I don't know what he's talking about impossible, because if it's regarding time travel or like multiversal travel, I don't think it's impossible because he's done it before. So what could be impossible that Barry's never done before? I don't have a good answer as of right now, but again, the best bets are stuff that he's done in the past. But if you have something new, let me know in the comments down below if you come up with anything really good. And so, this Despero bit, basically he says, I came a long way to find you Flash, and now that I have, I'm going to end your existence. And he says, you have seven days. So, this pretty much puts Barry's life at stake, and he knows that Despero is going to destroy the world, or destroy Central City, and kill him and his friends and family, if they don't do something certain within seven days and I think it's this kind of game of chess because there is a later shot with Despero and he is moving this game of chess and it's like he's moving the pieces and Barry is just like one of the pieces on the puzzle and Barry must complete the puzzle in order to escape so maybe it's some sort of weird twisted alien game that Despero is playing I don't know if that is entirely true I don't know much about Despero from the comics but perhaps there is something to do with chess in his history and the way that he sort of maybe plays with heroes and the way that he takes over Earths in this case, obviously, this is Earth Prime. So the next shot is inside the Hall of Justice, which returns in this trailer for the very first time. And we'll talk more about the Hall of Justice in a minute when we see the introduction of a big returning character. And so obviously in this shot, he is talking to someone and Despero has another shot, and it seems like he is inside Star Labs, or maybe his ship, which kind of looks like Star Labs, but you can see him playing chess in the next one, and again, this seems like he is playing a game, and it's not like 
just him playing with someone else it seems like he's playing with himself and i think it's just a lot of like big metaphors in terms of the chess playing back at barry's apartment on earth we have him and he's kind of just staring off into the distance i guess contemplating what he has to do within these seven days before he is potentially killed obviously he doesn't really care that much for himself but more so about the people around him and like being the best hero that he can so obviously he's going to go ahead and try and do everything within his power and within his reach to actually do this and also in his apartment we get this split diopter shot or it seems like they've edited it to look this way so we have Barry in the foreground and Chester, Caitlin and Allegra in the background again Barry's face looks like he is definitely thinking about something very hard back at the Hall of Justice we have Barry's flash chair again this hasn't been seen since Crisis on Infinite Earths I mean there haven't been that much reason as to why it would show up because basically all of the heroes are gone the only two remaining heroes are the two people that show up in the Hall of Justice. As you can see in this shot, this is actually Black Lightning who greets Barry and they are the two remaining original members of the Justice League that was formed in Crisis on Infinite Earth. So it's great to see it back, but they're obviously going to have like a big revamp and I hope they induct some other members and it's not just Barry and also Jefferson but at this point it cuts to a shot of Mia Smoke who returns as Green Arrow very excited to see her coming back and you know the Green Arrow legacy continuing onwards obviously we had Diggle this past season who had many cameos in all of the different Arrowverse shows so it's nice to see Mia back in the Arrowverse as a whole obviously her show didn't go ahead so it is like an extra nice thing and so let's move on and Barry says I need your help to save the world and this is again where this bit cuts together and you see Batwoman as well who joins Barry presumably at some point I don't know what episodes these shots are specifically from however you can presume like maybe bit by bit maybe there's like two heroes in one episode then two more heroes show up and then two more heroes show up I don't know necessarily if they're going to have like big team ups with all of the heroes all at once I think it's going to be more like a one by one situation where one person helps and then maybe they have to go away and someone else comes in as backup and replaces that person okay so we get this awesome Superman reference right here at a Star Labs Central City convention where Brandon Ralph obviously as the Atom not as his Superman version of himself that we saw in Crisis does a Superman rip of his shirt as he runs into action to help Barry and so we cut to a shot of Barry and he is outside I presume facing off against Despero and he is joined by Barry and he drops a really funny line he says hey you've been working out which is obviously a reference to Grant who has been working out between the seasons so yeah it was very funny I laughed in the trailer I thought it was a very nice moment okay let's move on to the next shot inside what I presume is the Hall of Justice Black Lightning gives Barry another talk and so this time he's talking about time travel in the future and it seems like maybe Barry has made a mistake and he's gone to the future and he asks him where is the future and Barry replies now and from what we've been told from behind the scenes photos and little pieces of information we're pretty sure Barry's going to time travel at one point maybe Despero actually succeeds and he ends up changing the timeline and Realtering and rejigging stuff and obviously this will have the big effect on the rest of the season or maybe it's just contained to the five part crossover event but we have this final shot of Barry as he talks to Jefferson during the same scene okay so moving outside we have Chillblain who returns he's fighting some sort of goon doesn't really look like Despero from what I can see and it looks quite icy so perhaps he's not going to be like necessarily thoroughly involved with the main story but maybe there is a little offshoot with him and Killer Frost but we see the return again of Mia Smoke can't wait for her to show up seems like she is on some sort of reconnaissance mission I don't know how she gets back in time however maybe it is something to do with Barry time traveling to the future then we get this really cool shot of Barry and obviously this is like a CGI shot which they've done and this is him running through the streets as the Flash and this is at the point where Ryan Choi says this could be the end of the world as we know it and also Allegra says there is at least 100 earthquakes around Central City so it seems like this is Despero releasing his wrath on Earth 
in the form of earthquakes and also this is what probably Ryan Choi is referencing about this could be the end of the world as we know it if there is this many earthquakes and the tectonic plates are messed up perhaps the whole earth could shatter and you know crumble to pieces essentially and so this is when it gets really interesting now I'm not sure when this specifically is however I have a few theories but there is one thing that kind of confuses my theory and I'm going to make a whole video on this like this is going to be coming up in the next few days after I make my Supergirl videos in the next episode which is airing tonight. So yeah we got this shot of Barry, I don't know who is behind Barry but you have Chester and in the foreground you have Iris and also Mia. But the key point of focus is Iris because Iris is here dressed in some sort of purple kind of gown. And then in presumably what is the same shot because you can see the shoulder at the edge of the shot is very similar to the clothes that this version of Wells is wearing. And so it's great to see Harrison Wells back. Obviously Tom Cavanaugh filmed some stuff as reverse flash as well. However, I don't think this is reverse flash. I think this is original timeline Wells and this is, you know, timeless Wells that we met last season. And in fact, if you look on the far right of the screen, you can tell he's with Iris. So I think there is some sort of timeline changes going on here because we know Barry is going to be going back to 2014 and we can presume there is going to be some timeline changes if he makes these big kind of shifts to the timeline and it seems like he will do that. So it does make sense that potentially OG Wells ends up not having like Hartley, Raffaway or Caitlin or Cisco by his side at one of these events but Iris instead. And so that would make sense why Iris is there because the timeline has changed. So what do you guys think of that? I think that is an interesting theory. However, the one thing that goes against it is that there is the other Iris, but potentially that is the Iris from the future who is different and who is, you know, from another timeline instead. And that's why she wears something different and she is attending this event. Okay, so we get a shot of Despero. He's like kind of in Star Labs. And he's got his hands on the electronics and it seems like he's able to control them somehow. And he also slams Barry down inside Star Labs. And this is obviously him just as his normal self. And this is the point where he says checkmate. And, you know, we talked about chess before and how important I think it will be. But it definitely shows that even in his human form, Despero is really powerful and is nothing to be taken very lightly. Okay, so we get this really cool shot, and it's a dolly zoom of Barry, and it's basically used to emphasize his sort of confusion as he hears the final piece of dialogue, which says, You never know what face fate will wear when it shows up to change its life. And as it reveals, this is Wells talking, and again, I'm pretty damn confident that this is original timeline, timeless Wells, who we met last season. So... That about does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video and you're excited for the Flash's Armageddon crossover event which is coming in November, starting from November 16th and obviously we have 5 weeks in a row of Flash episodes where we will have crossover characters showing up, it's going to be super exciting. Please be sure to subscribe to not miss any of that, also turn on notifications to get alerted when my videos go up. We try and post daily so stay up to date, always check out the channel just in case in the evening UK time and translate that to wherever you are. But for now thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.